latest news. In today's latest news, today shall be part three of the interview with the band ChemLab. And I hope all of you were tuning in the past couple of weeks to have caught part one and part two of that interview. And those watching it on the web, be sure to download those parts. So this is the conclusion of the ChemLab interview. So once again, folks, uh, welcome, welcome, welcome to the program. Hope all of you are having a good time and... Oh! Oh! God, a maggot, it got me! Oh! A maggot got my eye! Oh! A maggot! <laughs> well, a maggot could have gotten my eye, but a maggot did not get my eye because, you see, um, maggots have less power. But unfortunately, they're all supporting Ox Malford in the latest presidential election, and Ox Malford is still ahead in the polls, people. He is still ahead because the majority of people, you know, all these maggots are still supporting Ox Malford. So, um, wait a minute. Don't tell me. I think I see, I see one of these maggots. These, one of these maggots, they're, they're, they're watching the show as well. Oh, I see these maggots. Oh, 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 I see them. Don't worry, folks. It's just... You know, I keep saying time and time again, year after year, the show is not intended for these little slimy maggots, you know? I mean, you people, you know, you, you clearly are not very uh, interested in watching the show, and you're clearly only interested in coming to the show and just, you know, uh, 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 making all these faces. I'm going to have to get, get that maggot. I'm going to get that maggot because it's in the way of the camera. Just, you know, just got to get it. Right. So you can't really see from here, but I just got, I just got, I just got one of those maggots. See, um, this is when we need the Jamaica man, the exterminator, to uh, get rid of some of these maggots. Ella, Ella, you know, uh, uh, you're looking at my form, man. You know, it's your blood money, your life, right? Eh? Anyway, enough about maggots, folks. So, uh, stay tuned, folks, and let's take a look at the interview. And I'm Ms. Poopy Diddy. We'll be giving ongoing election coverage on who the latest presidential candidates are. Stay tuned. Pretty huge right now. Pretty huge. Biggest I've ever been. Jimmy Atlas. Jimmy Atlas. Jimmy Atlas. I actually lift the van. Really? Up. We get stuck in traffic. He just carries the whole thing on his back. Great. Wow. I, yeah. He has some really good people to work with. I do. I do. Do you feel like you're getting enough opportunity to display your work? Like, you know, your bands? I mean, in terms of media coverage. We've had a lot of opportunity in a month to display our work. Yeah, there's plenty of opportunity. To yes, and there's been a lot of media coverage. Do I want more? I always want more. Of course so I do. I want to push this as hard as possible into every possible corner, and I've always wanted that. So you think art is very much alive and, you know... Art or my art? Your... Art in general, I guess. Art empirically, yeah, but actually they both are. Yes. Well, you know, everything is being, you know, generated to you like a product. Sometimes people are not so receptive sure, to Sure, but that doesn't mean that there isn't stuff that's festering under the surface. But sometimes people are not interested in... Sometimes you just have to, you know, bring it to them instead. So you so. still think there's hope? Oh, yeah. You still think... And even if there isn't, I'm just going to do it anyway. I don't really have any choice at 47. I have to... I have to get this out. If I can find a public um, vent for it, then I will. And if I can't, then I'm going to continue to do it and just, you know, make a fool of myself jumping around in my backyard um, or, you know, painting for myself and taking photographs or doing whatever it is that I do. But I don't have any choice about the fact that I have to do this. Uh, at 47, if I was being really smart, I'd, you know, get out of this business and go and make real money. Or I would have stayed on Wall Street, but I can't. I don't have the luxury. <laughs> Are you sure it's a luxury or not a curse? What, of making money? Well, well sure. Well, well, but it's a double-bladed sword, you know. You know? Yeah, it's a give and take. But that's the inevitability of it. I interrupt the program to bring you the latest in election news. Just to let all of you know, Miss Shitabito is now going to be the next presidential candidate. She, too, has decided to run in the presidential race. So, um, for all of you who are not sure what Miss Shitabito's agenda is, well, she hasn't really made it very clear. But now, let's take a look at Miss Shitabito, in case some of you might not, you know, remember her. But then again, how can you forget Miss Shitabito? So, take a look, folks. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
忘掉没？T-shirts. Actually, I found out about that band because my brother actually bought the T-shirt, and I was interested in that that's slogan. That that slip art, let's steal T-shirts. Yeah, we like you know. the slip art. Uh, well, you can say the real world. world. I, I just don't sound very good when I say a code word. I sound. You yeah, know? You yeah. Know? No, I don't. Are you sure? I'm sure. I've Give tried. Try. No, I just can't. No. It's, it's horrible, actually. Well, all right. It's just, but you, you know, you can sing. Anyway, so from then I discovered the, you know, the CD. It's kind of funny how it's like. Yeah, Love you. If you needed to go, look like you uh, no. needed to go. No? Okay. I just don't feel very interesting. You're not very interesting. You don't feel don't interesting. Feel interesting. Why don't you stand upside down? Like, why don't you just right, sit, right. Sit, sit, sit down and put your feet up like this and right. put your head down like that? Okay. Okay? Mm-hmm. And let's just continue the interview like that. All right. And then you'll get a head rush, you'll start feeling good. And I'll just put the mic. Oops, sorry. You yeah, just, just hit me with that. the microphone, just like this one like over it. here. Yeah. yeah. Different than and then, side. and then maybe, let's put that back. Then we can rest his head. So no, he wouldn't be too. Like that. Okay. Yeah. And we'll just continue the interview. Uh, do you feel comfort? Do you feel funny now? And then people will always remember you as look, move, move, like people, like. Oh. No, no. The feet still out. Okay. <laughs> I told you that you could do anything you want. I'm just, Already. I'm, you're pushing me. I want to do this. Uh, what do you want to do? This. Can't the feet go straight up? Yes. Okay. Can't the feet go straight up? It looks better on camera when it's completely up. Okay. In a vertical position. Good. Do you feel comfortable? Yes. Okay. I feel great. It looks good. Yeah, I, I I think it looks pretty good. So how are T-shirts t- sales doing, Jared? They're doing all right. They could be better. It's mirrored by the audience. I mean, in terms of actual um, sales to head count, the ratio is pretty good. So if we hit a thousand people a night, the ratio in terms of sales would be excellent. But you know, we have smaller audiences, so it's all right. What about the ties? How are those doing? They're doing well. Just re-upped on ties, oh, okay. so I'll have. Some for tonight and then some for the website. We've gone through about 30 or 40 of them. Bingo! Have you had fans have gotten into trouble for wearing that t-shirt? Over the years? Yes. Yes. Quite a few of them. Quite a few of them. They do. And they've been thrown out of school, high school, and the couple that have been asked to leave uh, class in college, even. Kids have been... Yeah, there you go. Really? Tell the story. That was, what well, you know, I, I I had three shirts with Buck. There were two Chem Labs. There was a 16 volt shirt, the Fuck the Record Industry shirt, and uh, I'd wear those. I was in eighth grade. Uh, principal saw them one day. Wasn't allowed. Had to turn them inside out. Got sent home. Eventually got suspended for the 16 volt one because I was defiant and refused. Wow. <laughs> People in my school used to get suspended for bunging Uzis. Anyway. The old revolutionary you. <laughs> uh, che Guevara. Che uh, Che. Right? Yeah. So w- would you say there are any um, innovative or you know bands that you think are pretty good that aren't getting enough recognition? There are lots of them, sure. Yeah. Like um, well, let's see. USSA, Camlab, Skeleton Key, and Cyanotic right there. Okay. Uh, you get to see a bunch of them tonight. Um, yeah, there are lots. I can't think of any off the top of my head, but sure. Are those yeah. are the ones that come to mind immediately? Well, just because I've been touring with them. Yeah. yeah. Have you always wanted to be a performer? Yeah, I think so. Since you, like, how old were you? Since you were like born, you always had a flair for it? Uh, I've always wanted to do it from early on. 
you know, in the single digits. Uh, I didn't know that I would be doing this, but I knew I'd be doing something of the sort. And when you perform, you also have like different outfits all the time. Do, are there by any chance like different characters or just different outfits? Once you painted your face black, I mean, mm. that was... Uh, yeah, more than once. And I like painting myself. Like, did, did those represent anything? Or uh, my desire like, to paint you know? myself. That's yeah. about it. <laughs> oh, okay. uh, you know, I just... Uh, shows I, I'm tired of and have always been tired of people who don't give a performance. If people pay money to see a show, then they should see a show. If I pay ten bucks to see a show, I want to know that the aliens have landed and we're going to go off to Saturn and party on the rings after the show is done. I want to see, I want to see an event. And I'm not interested in someone who's getting dressed up like a gas station attendant or who looks like the person standing next to me. I'm so upset and grumpy and sad and mopey. Think I'll just cry a little. Woe is me. You know, couldn't interest me less. I want to see a fucking show. I want to see a show. And so if that means that I'm going to whip out some paint and paint myself in the front two or three rows of people, then that's what I'm going to do. You know. How long did it take you to remove that thing? Oh, I don't remember. I don't know. A couple of showers. Oh, I mean, you didn't do it right after the show? No. No, I drove around town with black with the, with paint really? semi-smeared off my face and caked in my hair. Yep. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Well, I get into a bit of a, uh, a trance state, somewhat possessed. And oh, is there something in your hair? It's making a lot of noise. Might be. My fingers just now. Oh. Oh, no, just What, like you mean like crickets? In your hair. No, no, birds? no, not like an insect, but like maybe like... Snake. Like little pieces of paper. No. Up to your head. It's bleached within an inch of its life, so it's pretty brittle and fragile. In your fingernails. Probably. Oh. Sounds an interesting sound. It's election news, more election news. I know what you must be thinking right now. What if Mr. Weird Man and Lieutenant Ox Malford were to debate each other? What would that be like? Would it be like an actual debate? Or would it be the great big fight? Take a look, folks. Take a look. How is that possible? He took the camera to another room and downloaded it. No, no. There is no secret room. The pictures are all gone. Ash never shack. Whoa. Done. So that means that the pictures of us are going to be all over the internet! No! That's not true! Everybody's going to oh. see us! But who wants to look at you? Why? Why they so bad the internet? No! No! We need a Patriot Act for the internet! No! Yes! We have to watch freedom over the internet! No! The internet! It's taking away our freedom! We can't just have anybody uploading and downloading things on the internet whenever they want to! No! Gosh, I really hope that the internet superhighway doesn't come to an end! Hey! I didn't go to any secret room or upload any pictures to the internet! He didn't go anywhere! I'm sure that there is a secret room! That's why we need cameras! To monitor! Everybody and everything! I hope they don't put cameras in the bathroom. Hey, wait a minute. Isn't that an invasion of privacy? If all our actions are going to be recorded, that's the price of freedom! Yikes! Yes! I like this new American freedom! It is just like communism! Whoa! Now, wasn't that a memorable event? Remember, folks? The great big fight. Woo! Anyway, all right, let's get back to the Ken Rabb interview. Back to it, folks. Back to it, and onward the show goes. I find that if you are working with people who are very talented and you give them the freedom to actually be able to stretch within the confines of their own ideas and their own skills, then you get something pretty good. Are you going to paint your nails? Well, yeah, they look you want like me to paint it for you? Well, sure. Are you any good? Because I'm good. I don't think I'm good. Hmm? I don't think I could paint your nails. Okay. I don't know how good I would be. Okay. 
I would hate to get the you know nail polish all out, and then you'll be really upset. You know, and then it might come all over your knuckles, and then I just don't know what you're going to do. You're going to get really upset. And then it's a different color, and then I don't know. I mean, paint is nice, but then I'd want to put it all over the finger. Yeah. Well, that looks so good. So, anyway. Um, yeah, so there you go. Okay. with you painting your nails, really? I guess. Oh, sorry, Are folks. you going to paint your toenails? Um, no, because they won't be seen on stage. Well, what uh, makes you think people could see that little, I mean, that finger in, on stage? Oh, darling. The they can see. Are you sure? Of course. It doesn't matter Even anyway. I, I mean, I paint my nails all the time, regardless oh. of whether or not people are paying attention. It's just, I, if, I, if my nails aren't painted, then I'm naked and I don't leave the house. Oh, I'm that kind of prima donna. talk all day. Really? Don't you stop me talking. Oh, baby, I could talk all night. Sure, of course. I'm a front man. I love the sound of my voice. I am enamored with myself. I am a complete and total narcissist. I think to be a good front man, you need to be. You know, you need to be a ham. You need to love the sound of your voice and the sound of your ideas. And, you know, you look at yourself in the mirror and... I think I'm in heaven! <laughs> oh! Whoa! Whoa! Those are the kind of front men that interest me because they give a good show. What are some of the other front men that you like? Uh, me. Is it that, would there be anyone else? Oh, sure. Brian Ferry, Iggy, um, Marilyn Manson, Bowie. Um, and, um... Are you going to film the show tonight? Yes, I'm hoping to film some parts of it. Uh, yeah. Will I be allowed? I don't know how well it will come out, but, you know... I Actually, know. I'm musical. Miss Divine is um, not here at the moment. I'm the one that interviews the bands, unfortunately. You know what I mean? So, just, I don't want to get scolded again. But, um, we yeah. Were scolded. Miss Divine scolded me last time because I used her name, you know. So, you know, different people have different assignments on the show. So, this you know. Well, um, I pretty much asked you all the questions I needed to. Well, all right. Do you have anything else that you would like to say? Buy my Thank records. You, this is Jared Lush. Welcome to Ms. Divine's Tee As we say en français. Alors, à tout à l'heure. Thank you very much, Jared. Sure. Hello again. That concludes part three and the final episode of the Cam Lab interview. So be sure to have watched all three parts and go to the website and divide that slash Cam Lab dollar and all three parts sequentially because you have to download all of them in order. Anyway, and also stay tuned for some Cam Lab concert footage coming up at the end of the program. Now, in election news, 
you know what I was thinking? I know what many of you probably were thinking as well. Um, why can't Music Girl run for president as well? So uh, let's hear from Music Girl. What, what do you think about this? Oh, oh no, Miss Poopy Doody. I don't think I can handle this. I'm, I'm not tough enough. I don't think I can do it. Oh, come on. You know, that's why you have to toughen up. Be brave in the face of adversity. Give us your best punch. You know what I mean? You have to, you have to be free. Let yourself go wild. Come on, musical. Come on. Let's see what you've got. Show the world. Come on. Let's see. Okay. Um, I'll try, Miss Scooby Doo. I'll, I'll do my best. Um. Oof.